So the beginning of this year, um, I had my Autumn Winter 10 show in February. Um, the show was based on a lot of different themes. I've never done florals before, so I wanted to interpret florals differently. So combining with leather, patent leather, it was a slightly twisted, perverse take on florals, bittersweet. Yeah, well, it was good. It was a really successful collection and one of my favourites to date. So um, yeah, I'm really proud of it. The spring, summer, this September was basically back to neon for me. I've done neon before um, and I love neon and I wanted something brighter than bright. So colour for me, I do love colour, so I'm not really scared of the challenge of neon. I do want every season to be unique and to stand out and as long as people can turn around and say that's a Christopher Kane dress, um, then I'm happy. Uh, so my year started off by showing um, our fall winter collection, which is very much inspired by um, nature, um, the northern lights. Um, I was also looking at like um, teen movies and things that I had grown up with, and the way that girls used to dress at my high school with that kind of boy boyish jumpers and exposed legs in like minus thirty weather. September, we showed outside in a, in, a, in a garden square in London and um, it was very much inspired by the Ballet Russe, the sets and the costumes of the Ballet Russe. It was kind of taking all of that wonderful contrast between things that were very um, structured and things that were very soft and diaphanous. Personal. I mean, it's impossible for it not to be personal. Um, you know, I work in it. I work on it very personally. I have a fantastic team. You know, I, I do use myself as a mirror. It's not that I would wear everything that I do, though. It's not. It's not that kind of expression. It's more about an idea of of an authenticity. You know, if I'm in a fitting and it doesn't feel real to me or authentic to me. Then, then we don't do it. 